Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, New Breeders. My name is Kiran, and in this video, I'm gonna be tire ranking all the One Piece arcs that I have read so far. So the tires that I have created are four. So we have the gems, which is basically my like four, five stars arcs, the arcs that I just love the most. And so yeah, so those I'm gonna put in the gems. Then the second tire that I have created is I love but. So this is basically for the arcs that I just enjoyed a lot, but I have some reasons for why those arcs are not in the gems category. So you can say it's more on like the, you know, 3.5 to 4. So that's the kind of range. So the third tire that I have created is meh, which is basically for the arcs that are more like a three star for me. And th those are the ones that are just there. I just don't care about them enough. And then the fourth tire that I have created is just hated, which is basically for all the arcs that I just didn't like. Okay, so the first arc that we see is the Romance Dawn arc. This is the point from where the whole thing starts. Like we see the childhood of Luffy, his love for becoming the pirate and how much he has this amazing relationship with Shanks. And I just love the whole thing. And if you know, if you have been like following my channel, you would know how much I love Shanks as a character. So we see Shanks here and we see the childhood Luffy and when he eats the devil fruit. So yeah, I mean, this arc is just so, so good. And then of course, we meet Kobe here, you know, Luffy helping out Kobe and then, you know, Kobe actually joining the Navy. It's, it was so good. And then of course we meet Zoro here and then we went into like Zoro's backstory as well. So yeah, so straight up, I'm going to put it in the gems category because I think that's where it belongs. Okay, so next up we have Orange Town arc. So this is the particular arc where we meet Buggy the Clown and of course we meet Nami and um, I think that uh, as far as I remember, yeah, I mean, the interactions with Buggy were amazing, but I don't think that they are the the best that I have read. Um, so, yeah, I mean, for Nami, you know, stealing the map of the Grand Line from Buggy. So, yeah, that was interesting. So, yeah, I think that it was fun, but I will not say that it's the best of One Piece. So, I'm going to put Orange Town in like... The second tier that is I love but category because I think that yeah, I mean, it, even though it was fun, but it was just not that fun. Okay, next up we have Syrup Village Arc. Now Syrup Village Arc is where we meet Usopp, uh, you know, the guy who just lies all the time. And I just loved the way that Usopp, you know, becomes from like a fake pirate to the real pirate. And then of course we go into his backstory, learn about his father and his connection because his father is in like Shanks crew. So yeah, that was, Yasop is in like Shanks crew. So that revelation was also interesting for me and of course we get the going marry by the end of this arc so of course it's it's a cool arc um yeah i mean even though it was good i think i was kind of expecting a lot more in terms of the like villain like even though the black cat pirates were like interesting but still it just it was just not up to that level so yeah even though i enjoyed it a lot i'll still keep it in I love but category, but I will definitely say that I enjoyed it more than the Orange Town arc. So I'll put it above that. Okay, next up we have the Baratie arc and oh my god, this is literally so, so good. Like I loved the introduction of Sanji the cook and you know, his entire backstory and his you know, connection with Zef, it kind of somehow reminded me of Luffy as well as Shanks. It was, it was so much fun. We meet Mihawk here, like, oh my God. Like when the moment that Mihawk enters, right? His personality, it's just so good. And the whole Zoro versus Mihawk moment. Oh, it was so good. Like, of course, there is also a part of Nami actually, you know, stealing the ship. And then, you know, whatever that happens in like, they are long, we'll get to that. But yeah, I think overall, the entire structure of this particular arc was just so good. And I think that this is among the best of the East Blue. So I'll put Baratie in the gems. And I think that I enjoyed it more than the Romance Dawn arc. So I'm going to put it at the top, top. Yeah. Okay, next up, we have the Arlong Park arc. And oh my God, this arc is just so good. It's so emotional. I thought that Baratie is going to be like my favorite arc in the East Blue saga, but nope. 
Arlong is even better. The whole story where first Nami is, you know, considered as like an enemy, but then we get to know the backstory of Nami and how emotional that is and how horrible Arlong is as a person. Arlong just doesn't care and just, you know, destroys all of these villages because he can. So yeah, overall, what a, what a sad arc and that moment that one moment when luffy is actually putting the hat on nami it just hits you i think that it's literally the best of the east blue saga and i'm gonna put it at the top in the gems and i think yeah it's number one okay next up we have Log town arc we get to meet smoker here and we get to know that gold roger was kind of like smiling when he gets executed and uh, the moment comes when buggy alvida all of them try to like execute luffy and he was literally about to die and he also had a huge smile on his face and i think that was like a very heart hitting moment for me so now i have to decide where i want to keep Log town so yeah I think that uh, I'm not gonna be putting it in the gems because I think it was just too short but it still had some like really amazing moments. So for that I'm gonna put it in I love butt category and I'm gonna put it above uh, Syrup Village. So yeah. I think yeah this is like the perfect position for this arc okay so the next arc that we have is the reverse mountain arc and i think that was so much fun like it was so much fun like the science of it like all these different currents you know converging at that one point and then you have to go you know above this like reverse mountain i think it was fun and yeah i mean it was really really fun way to just enter the grand line so yeah i think it was fun and then of course we meet this really you know huge whale laboon and laboon's like very sad story where the whale is just waiting for the crew and the crew is never gonna come back so do i think that it was the best um to be like added in the gems maybe not but i think it was definitely very emotional so um i think i'm gonna put it somewhere in the isle of butt category but i just have to decide um, I love butt category at the last. I don't think that uh, I should put it like higher than that. But yeah, I, it was definitely really sweet. Really enjoyed it. Okay, next up we have the Whiskey Peak arc. Okay, so this is the arc that I feel is just not that good. Like, you know, when I was reading it, yeah, I mean, I loved some parts of it. Like, I just loved the way that we see Zoro fighting and he being able to just you know you know fight all these like hundred members of the brock works so yeah so for that i'm just gonna put whiskey peak in meh category because yeah i mean for this particular like arc it's just there i just don't care enough for this yeah okay next up we have the little garden arc now in this particular arc we see the giant so another like non human species dory and Broggy, they kind of like reminded me of um, of course like zoro and sanji in a way and i think it was kind of like a parallel that oda must have like tried creating at least i felt it that way so yeah i think it was interesting it also kind of like motivated usopp a lot i think that i love it so i'm not gonna put it in meh yeah at the end of the i love but tire yeah yeah that's where i'm gonna put it Okay, next up we have the Drum Island arc and I think it's a wonderful arc for me. Like I really enjoyed this particular arc because Nami was sick so Luffy has to like take them there. So yeah, I mean it was fun to read. I think yeah, even though it was so emotional but it was just so much fun as well. And it also has that one moment when Luffy is just taking them above that mountain and he's just bleeding. His hands and legs are just bleeding. It was, it was so, so sad but it also shows you know the extent to which luffy would go to just do whatever that has to be done so yeah i loved it and of course chopper is so sweet cute and of course the whole like cherry blossom scene right at the end was also amazing so um do i want to yeah i think i don't think i'm gonna put it in the gems category but i will definitely say i'll put it in i love butt category but i'll take it uh to the top okay next up we have the arabasta arc and oh my god this arc is just so good like it's so 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 good you know the way like crocodile was like manipulating everyone through this you know dance powder because it's a, it's a desert so what is like extremely important so yeah i mean i think the whole craftiness of 
crocodile that we see was very interesting i think crocodile was like an interesting villain and i think he just kind of like planned everything which makes him like even more dangerous and i think that was the reason why i just enjoyed it so much yeah and of course the way that you know the crew says goodbye to vivi and shows that like mark of friendship that was also a very sweet scene so yeah so considering all of these things i think arabaster just deserves to be in the gems category okay next up we have the jaya arc and i think that jaya arc was really good in terms of the mystery that is created in this particular arc like yeah whether this island actually exists or not or whether nolan was like lying or not and the interactions that the crew had with of course mont blanc cricket so good like so good so much fun yeah i think that i'm going to put it at the top of the i love but category yeah yeah i think it was definitely very interesting okay next up we have the skypia arc and i think that skypia was very very fun like it was so much fun because i loved the whole thing with the dials like the technology that is explained and the fact that an island exists in the sky is just crazy and the fact that our crew actually went there um i think uh, okay so i think i'm going to put it in the gems category but above the romance dawn arc yeah so so for this like water seven saga i'm just going to take the long ring long land arc okay so this is the only arc that i have read so far that has kind of pissed me off like don't get me wrong okay i get it devi back fight thing is interesting but i'm not a big fan of it like yeah i mean it just kind of gave me a feeling of a filler so yeah so it would be there in the meh category okay so yeah that's basically the way that i think that this particular list should look maybe i should do this for like the characters that i have met so far what do you guys think if you think i should do that do let me know in the comments and yeah thank you so much for joining and i'll see you in the next one and if you have not subscribed do consider subscribing and like this video and i'll see you in the next one bye bye take care